Hi, welcome to Profe en Casa. I'm Ana Bonilla Rodriguez, your English teacher. Hi, Hi teacher, teacher Ana. Hi. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, Very good. Great. You call saying you need help. I'm here and I will help you with anything you need. I'm glad you can help us. We're going to participate in the science fair. Really? Yeah. The topic we will present is related to technology and its development through time. More or less, it's something like that. We're really interested to show the evolution of technology. Teacher, we know you're really passionate about technology. We would like you to help us with the topic. Of course, I certainly love technology and I will be glad to help you. In order to do this, guess what? 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 We're gonna travel back in time. Awesome! <laughs> yeah, come with me. We're going to see the technological advances and the evolution of telecommunications from antiquity to modern times. Nice! Sounds like a long trip. By exploring the contributions of past technology, we can understand better what happens in the present. We can also analyze how these inventions inspire new technologies. What do you mean by technology? What do you think? Digital TV, the cloud, apps, yeah. Hardware, software. Yes, all that and more. We can define technology as the human effort to make any task easier. Now, let's analyze past communication technologies and telecommunication. They are the predecessors of everything we have today. Ready? Yes. yes. Let's go. For millennia, humans have created tools to communicate. Do you know what these are? Yes, they are cave drawings. You're right. In ancient history, humans invented cave drawings. Why? Well, to show examples of their daily life, hunting habits, and the animals they observed. It was a kind of writing. Yes. Then, over time, Different civilizations like the Maya and the Egyptian invented their own systems of writing. They used hieroglyphics to write about their battles, customs, and leaders. They wrote on stone. We write on paper. Centuries later, paper was invented in China. It was an incredible and very useful creation. Each generation contributed with new technology and the distribution of important works, like El Quixote, one of the most well-read books in the world. El Quixote was published in 1605 and many were able to read it, thanks to the invention of the printing press. Now we write on a keyboard. And then we use printers. Exactly. Each generation contributed with a new advance until we got to the printing press, the typewriter, and the computers. As you can see, communication and telecommunication technologies used to be slower and simpler. Typewriters didn't have screens and you had to type directly on paper. What happened if you made a mistake? You had to start all over. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the first computer was invented in 1936 in Berlin, Germany. It was enormous and very different from today's. <clears throat> I see you're using technology for telecommunication. Hmm. Do you know how people used to communicate long distance? No. First, there were messengers. People had to travel long distances to carry letters, like the Inca. Soon, other technologies were introduced, like horses and carriages. 
the telegraph, satellites, and the World Wide Web, better known as the internet, and cell phones, and sex. How often do you use these technologies and which do you use the most? All the time, like yesterday when we did our homework. I looked up information about rap. I downloaded the song and we sent it on to the teacher. You used telecommunication technology and you did good work. Now, can you tell me the advantages of desktop computers, laptops, tablets, and smartphones. You can organize the stuff better. You can save information like images, videos, music. You can communicate long distances more efficiently, whether you are speaking, writing, or teleconferencing, like we're doing right now. Teacher, how is all this possible? It's all thanks to software, you know, innovative computer programs and cell phone applications. Now, what can you tell me about software? Mm, there's new software every day. Some software programs are just for specific fields, like architecture, engineering, education, and medicine. Programs are also useful for schoolwork, right? We use texting, illustration, and editing programs. Along with software, there is also hardware. Hardware? The physical components of a computer, like the mouse, the keyboard, the screen, and the CPU. Feature. I guess they all make the internet more accessible. Yes. With the invention of the internet, communication and telecommunications technologies changed even more. Information on the internet can be used anytime, anywhere, by anyone. Doing homework is easier. You just click on a search engine like Google or Yahoo, and you can find thousands of possibilities on screen. On the internet, you can do many things, like sell and buy, reserve hotel rooms or airplane tickets, do your banking, watch videos, and much more. The internet has affected the way in which we use other technologies too. Like with music, my father used to listen to the radio. He also used a Walkman and then a Discman. <laughs> now we use MP4 or MP5. Televisions now can be connected to the internet to see films online. Smartphones come with apps that you download from the internet. We can see what others share on Instagram or on YouTube as soon as they post it. We can also play games. The internet has made the world smaller, connecting people around the world through email accounts and social networks. Our travel into time is over. Now, what do you believe can happen with technology and telecommunications in the future? Think about it. That could be a great topic for your scientific fair. Technology changes so fast. Who knows what might be possible in the future? Whatever happens, just use the internet with precaution. Today, we travel through centuries of history up to modern times. The route to the future depends on you and your companions. It's been a pleasure to be with you. Visit Profe en Casa to learn about many other useful topics. Goodbye for now. <laughs>